All right, dude, so we are making a vlog today, like we normally do. A couple weeks ago, we did the, uh, what was it? The Cool Ghoul cool. Resurrection. Yeah, dude. Where we went to the Boneyard and we resurrected one of our old planes from the past. Flew fantastic. It did. And a lot of people liked it. A lot of people said that the uh, they wanted to see more of that. I just happened to be looking through some comments like we normally do. I like to start off the day with some reading your guys' comments. Vlog 102, when our buddy Adam Woodworth was here with his uh, Slave One. Top comment is Mr. Pickle King. <laughs> Please more warbirds. So here's so here's what here's what I'm thinking. Stefan, Austin, you in on this? No. Austin, you're in. <laughs> dude, dude, come on, you're bro. In. What, what, in for what? I, you gotta be in before I can tell you. No. Oh, yeah. hey. You tell me, I'll tell yeah, you if I'm so in. Here's what we're gonna do. We're gonna go up to the boneyard. Everybody's gonna have to find one plane and get it to flying condition, and you have one shot to fly it. The person who has the most success wins. <laughs> <laughs> the only the person that wins. Wins. <laughs> the, wow. The only stipulation, thanks to Mr. Pickle King, has is it has warbird? to be a warbird. Okay. You gotta go up there and find it. I already know what I'm gonna pick. That's cheating. Dude, what are you I gonna have pick? a mental inventory of what's up there. That seems like cheating. What are you gonna pick, bro? Um, I think that I'm gonna sit this one out. <laughs> I but knew you guys it enjoy it. Tell you what, what I am willing to do is I'm willing to be the official judge and I will determine the winner of this contest. I think I'm gonna pick Austin a plane and we're gonna make him fly it anyways. <laughs> <laughs> Just cause I think it'll I add, feel about that bro. I'll be right here. I think it'll add an extra <laughs> element of fun to the video and we like fun. Last time you were the light guy. Yeah, now you're the light no, guy. Ooh, the light hey, guy. there it is. Here, all right, here it is, this is what I want. Dang, dude. Look at this beauty. What? You look good, <laughs> that's sick. Ah, dude, dude the so SE5. Beautiful. Doesn't have to be World War II, this baby's ready to go. This baby, dude's even got good. It looks so cool with the dust on it. Yeah. It looks like it's literally been sitting here for 100 years. <laughs> <laughs> All right, let so me get out of your way. way. All right, dude. You go ahead and pick yours. What are you gonna pick? There's so many planes dude, here. Lots of planes, but they're not all warbirds, let's just be honest. Ooh. I want to, but this is never gonna fly again, probably. What makes you say that, Captain? Some Trojans. Dude, they are, I looked at those walking in here. That's a great flying airplane, let me tell you. There's two different well, kinds here. The one on the bottom is the Hobby King one. The one on the top is the Park Zone, and that's one of my personal favorites. I know that plane very well, actually. This, I mean, it looks pretty decent. I don't know what's going on in the internals. You know what? Just gonna do it. Doing that, doing gonna the do Trojan. It. Just gonna do it, dude. All right, now should we find something for Austin? What about this other Trojan? <laughs> that thing is, has some issues with its tail. <laughs> <laughs> Everything is falling off. Let's what get a, something hilarious what, for Austin. Yeah, yeah, dude. <laughs> the toaster plane's over there. Oh, it is, dude. Um, I'm taking a look at it, though. It's not doing great. There's not a whole lot of warbirds on this other side here. So I'm thinking. Dude, there's a triplane. What? That looks pretty oh, legit. Man. And it's not the flight test triplane. It's, I think it's an old Hobby King triplane. Oh, jeez, my back's on fire. Yeah, dude. Careful, don't break any good planes. Like this gyrocopter over here. Look at that, dude. Dude, that thing is gonna be, he's gonna crash that for sure. For sure. Oh. Dude, I love the Boneyard, man. The Boneyard's awesome. Let me transfer this to you. Look at that, phone light, camera light. A little bit further, dude. A little bit further. Oh, oh, yeah, dude. Oh, yeah. This oh, yeah. baby's gonna fly. Dude, oh, well. you, I think you have, I think you're gonna win with that Trojan, dude. dude Those, this that, Trojan's cool. That is a classic aircraft, and it flies fantastic. Oh, I dude. actually used that personally for a while. All right. So mission accomplished. This is the one that we got for Austin. Okay, now this is a, this is an old school. Look at all that. Look at all that lead weight in this thing that we had to put in there to make it fly. <laughs> this thing is from years ago. Look at the, you can gun. tell just by that brushless motor. Oh wow! It looks like it's from the 1980s. So we're gonna get this flying for Austin. We're gonna make him participate, even though he doesn't want to. And it's gonna be funny because this thing is not gonna fly good at all. <laughs> <laughs> but it is cool. It is cool. Okay, and then subject number B is mine. This is the classic Hobby King SE5. Boom. We'll put a link to that episode. It's like six or seven years old. But the plane is still looking good, and actually the dust makes it look 
legit. Yes. Secondly, we have also foam board versions of both these planes. <laughs> yeah. We have, a, we have a Fonker Terra One tri plane true. and a SC5. I have board. a feeling that this one is not going to fly as good as the foam board one. Subject number three. This guy. Ooh, this old you might want to check your, make sure that wing's yeah, on there. I got to make sure that we're connected all together here. Classic. This is a Park Zone Trojan. This is a freaking Trojan, man. If I'm you've sorry, never, I'm taking a look at it. If you've never flown this, bef flown one of these before, this is this is like iconic RC foam plane. Like yes. this is like one of the best flying because it looks like a warbird, flies like a warbird, but also kind of like a trainer. Mm -hmm. I mean, it's fantastic. And we'll see if it, we'll see if it does what it does. You know what I mean? All right. So we're going to. Uh, Get our pre-flight inspections going. <laughs> yes. And then we're gonna go for the go for the flight. Here goes nothing. Hey Violet, you think the airplanes are gonna fly? Are the airplanes gonna fly? No. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so we have the first official, because last time it wasn't really official. This is the first official Boneyard Challenge 2017. So here's the deal. We have Stefan, Austin, and myself. And we got this plane, the Trojan Triplane SE5. The way it's going to work is you're going to be judged on one, if the plane can fly. Two, you're going to be judged on, you're going to have to take it off, fly at least pattern. one pattern. And maybe you could get awarded for like tricks and stuff like that. Bonus points. She almost died. And then you have to come down and <laughs> land. You. And depending on how successful you are in doing so, TJ's going to be the aerial chase Yay. man. Do you think like in one of these corners we could have like a point counter? Sure. And our official judge today is this guy. Hi! <laughs> I remember each one of these episodes so yeah. clearly. This is crazy. Dude, this is awesome. crazy. So it actually, we've, we've been actually getting a lot of uh, comments in, below. Why don't we give planes away? That's, That's actually a very good reason. It's a really good question. And the answer to that is because money. It actually costs more to ship a plane like this that's fully built than it would to just ship you a brand new plane. And I would love, I'm sure this guy would oh, love yeah. to we'll give love away it. free planes. Yeah. We just aren't in a position to do so. But here's kind of the cool thing. That's not going to always be the case here. We're looking to work on getting a new location. And what we want to do is take some of these, you know, classic planes that aren't going to fly again for a very long time and let you guys fly them. Yes. And what we want to do is put them into our shop, let people come and buy them, and then we actually donate money to either STEM, charity, something mm -hmm. like that. That's awesome. And uh, that way we can give back. But also, when people are at the location, we can do giveaways. We can do things like that to reward them. Yes, for free. we can do fun Com stuff. We can giveaways. do boneyard so, challenges with the community yeah. at the and new they, location. And then after then we shoot the episode, they just take it with them. Yeah. Let's Boom. go. Well, I got to get some shakes. It's not that we don't want to send it out. We just don't want to spend 100 bucks to send a really Really, really old ratty, crappy plane. <laughs> Dude, this is just like a disclaimer. All of these planes look a lot better on camera than they do in real life. Yeah, that wing's that warped. Like, That's probably probably from one of the fires. See, but yeah, it was. How are we picking who goes first? Rock, Rock paper, paper, scissors, shoot. shoot. Rock, paper, paper, scissors, scissors shoot. shoot. Boom, boom. I know, yeah. I man out. No, I man and, out. No, I win. Two scissors beats out. a rock. I win, so I get it's to pick. Always I win, so I get to pick. No. It's Stefan. I man out, bro. Get her powered up. So. Okay, fine. Yep. Let's go. Yep. Woo. How are you feeling right now? I am so scared. Give me a right stick. All right, all right. So what are the, what are the rules again? I got to make a pattern. And bring it back in one piece. Okay. And if there's you want to throw anything just, random in there, you'll get some style points. So I need. I can have any pounds. I know. That's such a great plane. Three quarters throttle, we good? Yeah, go okay. fly. All right, ready? <laughs> oh my God! <laughs> How's that, dude? Oh, oh, oh <laughs> <geez>. <laughs> that Violet's been traumatized. Dude, how you feeling about that, man? Dude, this plane flies great. <laughs> You're up there, dude. Dude, bring her down. You're you're soaring in the blue skies up there. I can't even see it. I would bring it down. You can probably just cut the throttle. That thing will glide. Yeah, dude. How are you gonna get that down? You think? <laughs> dude, I'm just I'm going into the wind, hanging out. Thanks, buddy. Man, that sun is like right in my yeah, eyeballs. Yeah, that's why. You gonna bring it down? So the wind's coming from the dirt pile, so you want to yeah. land it going towards the dirt pile. Dude, look at that beautiful majestic bird. Majestic Trojan. Dude. 70 years later. <laughs> <laughs> longest, longest approach ever. Oh! <laughs> uh, he shot the balls, man. That, that's something. 
Yeah! <laughs> <laughs> Woo! Nicely done, that, sir. That's bonus points to the balls. Oh, no. <laughs> what do you think about that, Violet? That's a dog. <laughs> it's not a dog, that's a microphone. <laughs> yes, the dog on top, dude. All right, so I don't want to take anything away from Stefan, but uh, I feel like if I had been able to choose my own airplane, I might have... Hey, we asked you. <laughs> that's true. We said, come that's, on, man. That's fair. Come on, and you didn't come, so this is the airplane you get. And I do appreciate somebody else setting it up, but I just feel like, you know, <laughs> it's just it questionable. <laughs> Can I fly Stefan's airplane? No, you can after you fly this. <laughs> okay. Dude, how is it? Dude, that was the easiest flight I've ever had. <laughs> okay, I did stall it when I tried you to did. turn You did. You almost you almost ran I, right into that pole, dude. I almost ran right into the pole. Dude, I get bonus points for two things. I shot through the poles, whether it be on purpose or accident, doesn't matter. Here's the thing. And I got hit by a quad send you. All right, uh, here's scale the thing. one to ten, Josh, how do you think he did? So we got a discount because he has probably one of the most easy, yeah. most <laughs> resilient airplanes in the world. <laughs> So, so that starts down. at a two, that's but then yeah, he didn't freak out when he got hit by the quad, so that right. raises him to a five. He Go shot ahead. the poles, which raises him to a seven, but then in my opinion, the landing was terrible. Yeah. So that takes him down to <laughs> a 6.2. there's point two. nothing broken. Let's there's nothing there. broken, and I bet you it's going to fly a lot now. It's going to fly again. So Austin, you're up next. How are you feeling? Ready to make a memory. <laughs> <laughs> oh, watch your, Don't do that, Violet. No, no. This actually first flight in this, when this came from the hobby shop, or from Hobby King, it, we had to put like three ounces of weight in the nose. So it was a first, lot of lead up there. It's still up there. It's still in there. The first flight was at a, a airline hangar, and it was the sketchiest flight of my life. He's he's starting at a nine. Yeah. He picked like the, the worst hardest nice. flight ever. Wait, wait. wait this is difficult to fly. No, yeah. not at all. I gave you some uh, expo. You're gonna be fine. <laughs> I hope everyone enjoys the entertainment. All right, dude, good luck. Yeah, no good problem. Give it like a three-quarter throttle. All right. Oh, oh my, yeah, oh, dude! Oh my gosh. Oh, God. <laughs> Go you left. got it. You <laughs> got it. Go left. No, you got it. Go left. No, you got it. No, you got it. No, I, I don't know. Oh, they were. They must have been. <laughs> I think my alien was did it. No, they were he not. He did it. They no, were right. They were I was right. giving it full left, oh. and it was like doing this. We so checked it. The alien was just. Oh my God! It's in sixth season. Well, you started at nine, so you were already higher above me, man. I told you if I middled that this would be great entertainment, and I was right. <laughs> oh man, that was so great. So, were you using rudder? Yes, I was using rudder. Something has to be back. I was pinning. It, he was all over the place for sure. Right. I was pinning left, <laughs> left. Hey, hey, like, is he getting left or right rudder? Is his rudder working still? There's not really anything stuck to the plane. <laughs> <laughs> all right, I'll go get it. Oh, right, dude. no, right. dude. Yeah, hold on, let me, I'll fly first, they, and then you go get it. They set you up. They did. They uh, set you yeah, up. Yeah, you know what? I was happy to provide that entertainment, though. I, I recognized the setup immediately, <laughs> and I was I was, ha I was going like, with let's it. Let's go for it. Let's yeah. do this it like Bruce, because so, we ain't new to this. It was so promising until Phil flew. <laughs> <laughs> no, it looks great. Dude, the takeoff for, was great. Dude, it was for great. Three, three seconds, it looked great. I remember that that plane was. I loved it at the time because I loved everything that flies. But I can say now, looking back, that was sketch city with that. Plane. <laughs> yeah. You know? All right, Josh, you flying? Yeah. It was not the best flying plane ever. With the whole success situation. All right, so so we started at a nine. Started at a nine. Josh, where are we going from here? You yeah, started at a nine. How much did I downgrade for not dude, flying dude, at all? Style points for keeping it in the air more than five seconds. Right? He's the winner right now. <laughs> all right, I'm leaving. You're at a nine like, still. I'm, I'm giving him an eight, because he didn't Dang. just put it in the tall weeds. He smashed it into a mountain. <laughs> <laughs> so, now, you think I should hand launch this or, or just go for it? It's a great flying plane. Is it? Yeah. I feel like it's going to be fat. I, I think it's going to be really pitchy. All right, here we go. Get up! Yeah! Oh, I forgot my sunglasses. I got you covered, man. <laughs> <laughs> you got to do it. Great Dude, work. I, I'm going to break them with my big head. I know. It's, it's, it's a little awkward, but how's that? Oh, good. Dude, you're good. up, man. <laughs> you're up, bro. Dude, this thing is sick. All right, I think that you can now take the, officially take the Look at that. Look at that. Yeah, How about a Style points. There it is. Oh, dang. Dude, it's cool. It flies, nice it, fine fine. It flies good. I think you could seal the deal with a barrel roll. Even with the warped wing. All right, is so a barrel roll? Yeah, you seal the deal with the barrel roll. Okay, I'm going for it. Nice to be a one wing warped wing, you have three straight wings. Here we go. 
Oh wow, that's oh, a fast oh, wow. one. There it is. I want to see a low seal. inverted pass. <laughs> Ooh, low inverted pass. Low inverted pass. See, good luck, buddy. Right now, I feel like he just got the biplane version of a Trojan. <laughs> yeah, exactly. You know, it's very true. That, you know, minus that, points. That's what I get for not selecting my own airplane. Yeah. Austin, you're still in the lead. All right. Yeah, cool. you're still in the lead, buddy. I'm <laughs> All right, inverted pass. Here it comes. Oh boy. Oh boy. <laughs> wow. Jeez. Okay. Oh, <laughs> you get that? Oh, all right. You get that? That was the scariest what? thing I've ever done with an airplane. What do you think if, if you can land it without flipping it over now? Okay, all right. Okay. That sounds I'm good. Really, I actually want to keep this in one piece. Awesome, I'm really rooting for you, man. I'm trying to throw stuff at him, but he's delivering. So. Dude, the, it needs so much speed inverted. He, oh, jeez. He is delivering consistently. All right, Here buddy. Here it comes. Hey, the moment of truth. Dude, look how beautiful that looks going through the air. It really is a beautiful plane. Here it comes. Oh yeah! <laughs> Woo! I gotta give Look it credit. Care. That was awesome. Dude, yes. crushed yeah. it, bro. I won the competition that I made up. <laughs> that you. Yeah, I do find it a little suspect that the guy that made the rules won the competition. I knew it. I, I created the competition with this airplane in mind. I knew it was up there, and it delivered. Uh, Get out of here, you little drone. <laughs> <laughs> Dude, I f how do I look in aviators? It feels they feel weird. Well, they're a little small on your head. <laughs> it's like most <laughs> are, they, are they exploding off my face yet? Just a little bit. <laughs> if he if he like puffs his cheeks, so you go. <laughs> this is the first official boneyard challenge because the, the cool ghoul wasn't official. I, I can't take you seriously with glasses on. <laughs> I, I like them. Uh, before I break them, those try are nice. these on. This is more my style. There you go. We're good. Okay. So boneyard challenge is officially. A success, I'd say. <laughs> Look at Austin, he's climbing. <laughs> Poor guy. I don't maybe. know. Al, yeah. I, so? I did. I like Are really tried hard twice. to set it up nice for him, yeah. but you know, maybe it, that's not enough. Guys, thank you so much. It's because of you that we did this challenge. And what was the guy's name? Uh, Pickle King. Mr. Pickle? Mr. Pickle King or Mr. King. Mr. King Pickle yeah, or something, something like that. that. He he said more warbirds. We went up and we found some warbirds. Leave us a comment below if you guys want to see more of these boneyard challenges. We go up to you gotta grab an old sketchy plane, see if it's still got what it takes to fly. Subscribe if you haven't yet, and we'll see you guys next time. Whoop. This plane will never fly again. Dude, so next time are you gonna are you gonna partake in the boneyard challenge? I am definitely gonna partake and I'm going to select my own <laughs> airplane. Thank you very much. I'll fly yours. You did great. You wanna try it? I do. No.